For more than half a century, the Giants were more than just a ball club. They were a way of life and as important a part of New York as Broadway or Central Park. Never did they rise to greater heights than during the three decades when they were managed by John Joseph McGraw, a truculent, swaggering, fiery egotist who was pure genius. McGraw was the most hated, beloved, envied, admired, feared, and respected man in the game. He made the Giants to his model. Under him, they were the most hated, beloved, envied, admired, feared, and respected team in the sport. McGraw's bellicosity rubbed off in such irritating globs that fans in Chicago would stone his carriage while the little Napoleon smiled in condescending disdain. Maybe the Giants died with McGraw, and what was left has wasted away of neglect. Not only did the Yankees wrest dominance of the New York scene from the Giants, but even the lowly Dodgers muscled past them. This was not the way in McGraw's day. He ruled the Giants, the league, and all baseball. Funeral services for the once glamorous, glorious Giants will be held at the polo grounds today. Some of the old friends of the family, such as Jack Doyle, Hooks Wiltsey, Moose McCormick, Larry Doyle, Rube Marquard, Frank Frisch, and others will assemble to shed a final tear. Internment will be private. Please omit flowers. Arthur Daly, New York Times, September 29, 1957